I just finished building out this new studio, but I had to start using it before I had a chance to do proper sound treatment, and it's very echoey in here. Hi, I'm Aaron Parecki. So the problem with being in a rectangular box is that sound bounces between all the walls and floor and ceiling and just reflects back right into the microphone. So the theory is that the more isolating a microphone is, the better it'll do at not picking up the reflections coming back. Of course, it's not gonna be perfect because some of the reflections are coming at the same angle as my voice back into the microphone. So until I have all the pieces together to do proper sound isolation, I was curious, in the meantime, what is the best microphone I should be using for the live videos I am doing in here? So I do wanna mention, this is not a review of these particular microphone models. What I've done is I've picked out four different styles of microphones to compare how they stack up. So up here, we've got a shotgun microphone. This is a Samson C02. This one right next to me is the Rode NT-USB Mini, and it's a dynamic podcast style microphone. This one in my hand is the trusty Shure SM58, a classic stage microphone excellent for isolating vocals in a very loud, noisy stage. And lastly, I'm wearing a lav mic, and this is actually connected to a Rode Wireless Go connected to my camera. So I've got all these recording right now on me, and we're gonna switch between these microphones as we go through this video. All right, we're gonna start with the Samson C02, which is mounted above me on an arm, and it's about a foot from my face. This is what I normally use for this style of video so that you don't see microphones that I'm holding. And to bring you the sound check, I'm gonna tell you about Storyballs. Storyballs is the best deal for stock footage with an unlimited download plan and plenty of footage to choose from. Whether you need to look like you're up in the air or underwater, Storyballs has the footage for you. Visit storyballs.com to learn more. All right, next up, the NT-USB Mini. Storyballs is the best deal for stock footage with an unlimited download plan and plenty of footage to choose from. Whether you need to look like you're up in the air or underwater, Storyballs has the footage for you. Visit storyballs.com to learn more. And now the Shure SM58 in my hand. Storyballs.com has the best deal on stock footage with an unlimited download plan and plenty of footage to choose from. Whether you need to look like you're up in the air or underwater, Storyballs has the footage for you. Visit storyballs.com to learn more. All right, and lastly, this is the lav mic, which is this little microphone attached to the Rode Wireless Go mounted to the camera. Storyballs is the best deal for stock footage with an unlimited download plan and plenty of footage to choose from. Whether you need to look like you're up in the air or underwater, Storyballs has the footage for you. Visit storyballs.com to learn more. The last thing I want to try is to just snap my fingers so we can get a sense of what the echo is like in this room. When I snap my fingers, I'm going to let it trail off until I can no longer hear the echo anymore. All right, starting with the Samson C02. And the Rode NT-USB Mini. All right, and now my lav mic. And lastly, the Shure SM58. All right, hopefully this gives you a sense of how these microphones isolate my voice in this horrible environment. With any luck, I'll have some sound treatment in here soon, and I'll be able to actually start making decent sounding recordings again in this space. Let me know in the comments which one you think sounded best. I am by no means an audio engineer, so I'm really just doing this by ear. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one.